Hello everybody, Crips here, and as usual, thanks for joining me. So now that the Aftershot Pro 2 has been released a few days ago, I'm here to do a review. Yay! So what is so great about version 2? Well, for starters, it is in 64-bit. That's right, 64-bit. They claim it's 30% faster. I don't know about that, but I do know it is fast. Let's have a look how quickly everything updates. So let's just pick a photo. I got a photo last night. Last night it was uh, pitch black, no flash, and I want to just see how quickly it updates. So I'm going to use uh, uh, a plugin from Athen Tech. I hope I said that right. It's called Perfectly Clear. This comes with Aftershot. Let's just enable that. And there you go. It updated pretty quick, quickly. So as you can see, now this was a complete uh, nighttime photo, and yet it still managed to pull it out pretty easy and fast. That is the key, right? Fast. So that is pretty cool so what else is the version 2 has well it has uh increased its port portfolio or the profile for more cameras it says it has 26 new cameras really let's go into detail let's look at lens correction so i'm using a nikon 32 and if i go through my list of cameras i can see that yes i indeed i have a lot of cameras to choose from i also have all the models that i can choose from and all the different lenses that are available so yes it's definitely got a lot more cameras to choose from all right what else has it got well it's got also the high dynamic range so the hdr tool paintshop pro has it and so now does aftershot pro 2. i gotta be careful paintshop pro aftershot 2 corel video i'm gonna get confused right how do i access it well very simple I grab a thumbnail, I right click on the thumbnail, it gives me the option here, edit with HDR, and that's pretty cool. I, now I've already done a tutorial on that, so if you need to see how it's done, that it's exactly the same software for both uh, Aftershot and PaintShop Pro, so fear not, they work identical for both, so there you go. What else has this bad boy got? Well, it's also got the local contrast, and I found that kind of neat. Let's go into tone. Here I've got enable local contrast so now i can just localize the contrast in my photos so that's kind of neat that's a new feature that they also have in uh version two so and check that what else has they got the red eye removal there you go i used to have to bring the photos all into paint shop pro but i don't need to do that anymore because i now have my red eye removal option here and that's kind of cool so with evan tech the uh perfectly clear plugin they give me the noise removal plugin so here we go enable noise removal this is also a new feature let's have a look at exactly what that means let's look another photo and this one will do here so if i zoom right in on this sorry about that so i already have this enabled now what would happen if i did not enable it as you can see, all the red, greens, and blue, all the noise pops out. So you can really then take all that noise out with one click of a button. There you go. Sorry about that. It's not the mouse that's uh, playing up. Uh, I've actually, I don't use a mouse on this. I use the uh, pen touch pad. So sometimes uh, it's not <laughs> it's not working the way I want. I think I might have to update it. So it's not the software. It's definitely my pen. So I'm using a pen, not the uh, mouse. All right, let's keep moving. So, like I said, it's got the new eye removal, new uh, the new local contrast. Now, because it's now in 64, I can work with really, really big images. I can use uh, some of these 250 megapixel images. And what, what, what are we talking about? 30, 30 megabyte just for one picture, and yet uh, it enables me to work with them really quickly. There's no no lag time. I know, I haven't seen a rendering bar anywhere yet. So that's kind of cool with being a 64-bit version because if you're a professional photographer, you're making a 1,000 pictures, you want to get through those 1,000 pictures fairly fast. And one thing I do like about Aftershot, the workflow on this is really good. I can go into the library. I can use metadata or I can create my own. I can, you know, I can create the, the star system. I can flag it if I want to keep it, flag it if I want to get rid of it. I can also use color labels. And then 
when I go back to it, I just work on, so I just want to look at all my five-star pictures. I can do that. I can batch output it as well. If I go into the output settings here, you can see I have options of doing batch outputs. I can work also, if I want to make a web gallery, I can do that and save it here. There's my gallery. So I have quite a lot of options in my output settings as well. Now, if you've never used uh, Aftershot Pro 2, the interface is really, really simple to use. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to use Aftershot 2. This is a review, so compared from 1 to 2, and what are some of the new features that 2 basically is offering that 1 didn't have. <laughs> That's the point of review. So as you can see, there's a couple of more new features in here. Now, one thing I do, do like about this, um, let's say I'm working on this photo here. And I don't want this object in the background. How do I get rid of it? Let's go back into thumbnail mode. So I've got preview thumbnail. I can right click, edit with Corel PaintShop Pro, click once, closes one, opens up the other one, and I can immediately start working in PaintShop Pro. Now, the thing is, I don't, I chose PaintShop Pro. You can set it up to whatever you want preference wise. You can choose whatever you want. So now I'm in PaintShop Pro. I can use my object removal tool or whatever, and get rid of this and then output it here if I want to. So that's kind of neat. Now, uh, for those who are asking me, hey, what about all the plugins? All right, let's go back into Aftershot 2. As you can see right here, plugins. So I have, uh, I can add as many plugins as I want. So I'm gonna go here. I'll get this one for you if I can get it. Here we go. I'll put the link in the description, but here are all the plugins. So most of these are now for 32, and they are all now upgrading it for the 64-bit version as well. So if you have some of these plugins and you want to continue using them, no problem. They will all be converted for 30, uh, 64. I can't tell you exactly when. <laughs> I'm not sure on that as well, but uh, definitely these plugins will be compatible with the 64-bit version. So there you go. Let's get rid of this little window so we can see the software again. So there you go, my friends. That is what Aftershock Pro 2 has to offer. As you can see, 64, much, much faster to work with. And I think, uh, I think a lot of guys might actually start enjoying how to use Aftershock Pro 2. And as always, thanks for watching.